Today, our haunted series takes us to one of the one of the creepiest places in the country. It's where Stephen King was inspired to write The Shining, which then, of course, became a horror classic starring Jack Nicholson. Our guy, Matt Bradley, he got a tour of the hotel where the story began. And thanks for showing up in costume, Matt. Thank you, of course. You know, that's right. 44 years ago, on October 30th, 1974, Stephen King stayed in the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado. And that hotel inspired the infamous Overlook Hotel in the movie The Shining. It's hard to imagine this tranquil hotel nestled in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Here's Johnny! <gasps> could inspire one of the greatest horror stories. Red rum. It was the spirit of the Stanley Hotel that possessed Jack Nicholson in 1980's The Shining. Come play with us, Danny. Based on the 1977 horror novel by Stephen King, after the famous author stayed here one night in 1974, just before the empty hotel was boarded up for the winter. He went to sleep, and he had a terrible nightmare of his son being chased by a fire hose and eaten alive. He woke up in a cold sweat, had a cigarette on the balcony of 217, and then was inspired to write The Shining. This hotel inspired King, but when director Stanley Kubrick turned the book into a film, he didn't film here. Shooting exteriors at Oregon's Timberline Lodge, which had more snow, and interiors on a London soundstage. Come out, come out but it's The Shining that still gives the Stanley most of its shine. What percentage of the guests would you say are here just because they're fans of the book and the film? Over half. The Stanley Hotel was built in 1909 by inventor Freeland Oscar Stanley, who wanted a luxurious summer destination for wealthy Easterners. It was closed during winters until the 1980s, but unlike in The Shining, it probably never had a creepy caretaker. But you are the caretaker. To attract more fans, the Stanleys made a few adjustments over the years. When Stephen King stayed in that hotel room in 1974, there was no hedge maze. The hotel built it only three years ago as a kind of homage to the film. What will it be, so? The hair of the dog that bit me. Bourbon on the rocks. That'll do it. They even refurbished the hotel bar. Now it more closely resembles the infamous scene with Jack Nicholson. So close, it almost possessed me. Here's Johnny. But even if the film wasn't shot here, the long hallways are still spooky. So is Stephen King's famous room. In the film, room 237 is haunted. But in the original book inspired by this hotel, it's room 217. It's the top attraction. To spend the night here, you have to book years in advance. Is this a haunted hotel? I do think it's very active. Everyone has their own experiences but you'll have to come here to experience it for yourself. Active with what? Paranormal activity? Ghosts? Spirits. The hotel offers ghost tours, and at Halloween, a huge Shining-themed ball, a masquerade party, and a murder mystery dinner. And for those who want it, a hint of historic horror. Look pretty creepy, but look pretty fun too. I had a great time. You know, I asked the hotel, like, do you guys happen to have an adult sized tricycle on hand? <laughs> yeah. And they were like, yes, we do. We well, have an adult sized tricycle. And it, so I rode it around. And it looked like you had a lot of fun riding I had it around. So much fun uh, riding around. Highly that, recommended. That twin stand up, by the way, was pretty cool too. We've got great editors. Yeah. Right? You have a great costume, by the way. Thank you very much, Mary Bradley. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Prince Akeem. Yeah. Uh, Matt, thank you. Thank you.